Fresh brewed coffee powers customers at Concrete's Lone Star Restaurant, but there is no power at all when the electricity is out. Oh, it's extremely frustrating. You know, it's a loss of revenue, which uh, we can't afford. Owner Kerry Constantine says the tiny Skagit County town sees power outages four or five times a year, sometimes for days on end. When we don't have power, that means all of our refrigeration is off. It means all of our freezers are off and, uh, you know, uh, health department's coming up here and asking what our plan is to save the food. The good news, Puget Sound Energy will soon be moving 30 miles of electrical line underground. That will eliminate power poles being taken down by trees and wind during storms. The project will run along Highway 20 from Concrete to Marble Mound, an area that tends to be hit harder by storms and is susceptible to wildfires. Increasing reliability. Um, keeping the lights on in this community. This program is designed to do more than just keep the lights on. Monitors attached to existing power poles all across Skagit County will help defend against wildfires and other natural disasters. Thanks in part to a $46 million federal grant, PSE will be installing solar powered sensors and cameras that use artificial intelligence to detect everything from earthquakes to wildfire smoke threatening the power supply. Equipment upgrades at Baker Dam will bring hydropower directly to customers all across Skagit County if power lines are down. PSE says the result will be fewer and shorter power outages throughout Skagit County. We anticipate a huge transformation, uh, direct reduction in number of outages experienced for our customers. Okay. That can't come soon enough at the Lone Star, but the majority of the project isn't expected to be complete until 2029. Still, it's something folks here believe is worth waiting for. We need every break we can get right now. In concrete, Eric Wilkinson, King 5 News.